you guys welcome back to my channel we are currently in Dubai hence this very beautiful setting we are sitting at the beach right now and we've just had some breakfast I'll show you guys what we had right here and yeah we're gonna be here for another few days we've already been here for about four days and it's been really nice and relaxing we haven't been doing it that much we've just really tried to disconnect for a little bit and just take it easy the weather has been so nice super sunny and warm we've just been enjoying it <laughs> this is my view right now sitting at the beach here is a restaurant called Shimmers where we love to go. It's really nice for both lunch and dinner. We really love this area. We actually went to see a few other properties just to know for next time if we wanted to like change where we normally stay. But we really, really love the space because as you guys probably would have seen, I'll show you guys now a clip, but there's nothing in front of us. So we have like a really nice open beach space here and there are no other buildings you know in front of us so there's a really nice breeze it doesn't feel too crowded and too stuffy like in front of where you're sitting which I really like which is not always the case with other kind of beach resorts here also very nice about this um, kind of resort that's how we describe it is that compared to other hotels each hotel has only has space and you're not allowed to go to the other properties but here it's connected to five Jumeirah hotels to the whole group so it's kind of a resort you can just go with the buggy to the other resort stay at the other pool area stay at the other breakfast without having to like take a taxi and go somewhere else you know it's all very uh, close to each other yeah so that's something that's really nice if you really just want to come and like not have to do much but you still want to have like a variety of choice when it comes to pool areas or restaurants that's something that yeah. we really love just came we've got some lentil pomegranate salad hummus grilled eggplant lentil soup tabbouleh some bread and I think they're gonna start the fountain show in a little bit which will be super nice to see oh I think it's starting right now <laughs> there you go Okay, so it is now around 9 o'clock. We have been in the Dubai Mall pretty much the whole afternoon. So we have been at that mall and we totally forgot the time. There's no windows there inside. They don't want you to like to go out. It's actually crazy. You're it's like, 9 o'clock. It pulls you in. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. A lot of you guys actually wanted to see my very simple kind of everyday makeup routine that I've been doing here, which honestly hasn't been that much. At the most, I will do just a little bit of concealer and my brows. But today we actually have a meeting, so I thought I would show you guys what I've been doing and then just the little bit extra that I will be doing today. So first, I'm just putting on some concealer. This is the NARS 
Radiant Creamy in the shade Ginger. I will also take a little bit here around my mouth and my nose. Normally, I wouldn't really do that. It's just because we have our meeting. I just want to look a little bit more polished. So I just take it like this. This is my Zoeva Petite Defined Buffer Brush. Really love this one. And then I'll just take a little bit more right here between my brows. Then I'm going to set it in place with a little bit of a loose setting powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Next, I'm just going to fill in my brows. And I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Dark Brown. I'm being very diligent about putting on my sunscreen here. And it tends to get in my brows. That's why they look a little bit gray. So this also just helps to kind of neutralize that. Then I will just curl my lashes. And then sometimes I'll put on a little bit of blush, but this is basically all I've been doing. It's also just super hot here, so it's nice to not have too many things on your face. Plus, we have to wear a face mask. So this is basically all I've been doing if we've been going to dinner. And then during the day, I just really like to let my skin breathe. But because we do have a pretty exciting meeting today, I am just going to put on a little bit of blush. This is MAC Peaches. And I'm just going to tap this here on the apples of my cheeks. and a little bit across my lids as well. I'm also gonna take a little bit of my bronzer and I'm gonna apply this underneath my eye just to define the eyes a little bit more. Still keeping everything just really soft and pretty. And then just a little bit of mascara. This is the Bite Upswing Full Volume Mascara. I love this so much. This is actually the first time I'm putting on mascara since being on this trip. We've just been taking it really, really easy and it's been so nice. Then lastly, I'm just going to apply a little bit of lip liner. This is MAC Boldly Bare. And that is it for my makeup. So I obviously don't do this every day. As I mentioned, I love a bit of concealer and to curl my lashes and a bit of definition in my brows and that's basically it. But today is a busy, more kind of like work day. So I feel nice and ready now. I just changed into this beautiful green dress that I got from Revolve last summer. So I will see if they still have it available, but this is going to be my look for our meeting. Some of you guys have asked about my morning routine since we've been here. Wherever I am in the world, whether I'm home or traveling or at my family's house, I will always do my morning water kind of ritual. So when I travel, I don't have like my lemons and my lemon squeezer and my hot water, but I will always have water. And I drink about a liter or so, just kind of as much as I'm craving. And this is so important for my digestion. I will drink the water, I'll go to the bathroom, I know it's TMI, but I think it's really important to talk about this and it's something that I've shared for so many years is the importance of going regularly, especially when you're on vacation because you're not really eating the same kinds of foods as you're used to. So it's important to kind of help our systems out by doing these little good things for our bodies. And of course, water is also really great for your skin health, for the overall functioning of your body. So I always start my day with lots of fresh water. Another thing I swear by for good gut health is to take a good probiotic. It's one of those things Things. again when you're on vacation our routines and what we're eating is definitely not the same as when we're home we love to indulge more on vacation we eat more like sweets and desserts and just like richer food still healthy but a little bit more indulgent than when we're home and I think that's totally fine but then again it's about finding the right balance for you so I'm not a big drinker for example so that kind of helps my body as well the probiotic that I've been taking and the one that I would highly highly recommend is by seed this is their daily symbiotic and it is such an incredible probiotic it's actually a probiotic and a prebiotic so probiotics are the new bacteria that are introduced into your colon and then prebiotics is the food that the bacteria eat and why I really love this one and would highly recommend it is because it's encapsulated within two capsules so this is called their two-in-one via cap delivery technology 
and it's a capsule within a capsule and this ensures that the probiotics actually make it down into your colon because most probiotics don't actually make it all the way down there due to our strong stomach acids our bile salts our digestive enzymes so when you take seed you know that it's actually going to where it needs to and not getting destroyed along the way so each of these capsules contains 24 strain broad spectrum probiotic and prebiotic formulated specifically for digestive gut immunity and additional systematic benefits specifically it contains 53.6 billion afus another reason i really love seed is that they're founded by scientists and experts and people who are so genuinely passionate about gut health you can really see that throughout visiting their website reading about them and just the way that they communicate and want to really educate their consumer plus they are also sustainably delivered their shipping boxes for example are constructed with ecological paper made from algae that would otherwise damage the fragile marine ecosystem which i think is so amazing their bottles are also made out of glass and they are infinitely recyclable so you can recycle these over and over and they also come with these really great little refill packs which i'll show you guys here so you don't actually have to get a whole new component each time you just refill the one that you already have plus they also have this really cute little travel kind of vial kind of mini container that you can use for when you travel or if you're away for the weekend i am genuinely such a fan of this and it's also one of the only probiotics that i've ever tried that don't actually give me a stomach ache or that doesn't irritate my gut in any way it's very gentle it is advised though to start taking it very gently which is what i did so only one capsule i think it's every three days for the first two weeks and then you can gradually move up to once one per day and then two per day if you want i personally take one per day in the mornings again before breakfast like i am right now and i really really love it i am working with seed on this video which is very exciting so that means you guys can get a little discount you can get 15 percent off your first month's supply of seeds daily symbiotic by using code annie j15 at checkout they're truly my favorite probiotics that i've ever taken and i just love the quality i love that two-in-one cap technology so you know that they're truly making it down to your gut and not just getting burned up by your stomach acid which is what tends to happen to most probiotics so if you guys want to check this out again i will have the information down below in the description box as we're on this topic after breakfast is when i take my supplements i pack them in these like weekly kind of vitamin organizer i get this from amazon so i will take these after my breakfast and the probiotic before So their breakfast buffet is not open like usual, but they have these cute little trays that they come around with. This is the cereal one. They've got fruit there and chia puddings and yogurts. So cute. So I've ordered an omelet with mixed vegetables and some smoked salmon, sliced avocados, and they bring us this uh, bread basket, little cheese plate, and they also bring a fruit plate. guys it is actually the next day um, yesterday we had our meeting it went a little bit longer than we expected but it was really good and then after that we were pretty exhausted anyway today is a new day we are back in our car which we've rented by the way we needed this car because we had a few meetings planned for whilst we're here so we thought it would just be easier to have our own transportation this trip has been really interesting we have been able to relax a little bit and be at the beach get some sun and just not have to worry about like cooking and cleaning and laundry and all that stuff but we have also been working quite a bit since we've been here which we don't mind because we obviously we love what we do and it's really exciting and there are some fun new things in the works and also involving um, this region so yeah it's yes. been a mix. We're done with all of our meetings today and I just came back to the room, got myself changed.
we just came back from the spa we had the most incredible massage it was so good and now we just ordered some room service it just arrived and mo what did you get <laughs> okay this is our room service that we just ordered but and I mo do. went down to the lobby to get something I'm a room sweet service too what did you get Ooh, cookie muffin what is this I think it's like a healthy version of a chocolate bar. It looks good. Okay, so over here, this is Mo's chicken shawarma. Shawarma! I ordered a lentil soup, hummus. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just say how they say it in Arabic? They say chicken shawarma. Shawarma. <laughs> and then I got some spinach fataya and this green salad with avocado, mixed vegetables, and some other little goodies. Yum. This is really like my perfect evening. And now we're also going to watch This Is Us. our breakfast this morning. I've got an omelette with some smoked salmon, avocado toast, hummus, bread basket. Mo's got some eggs. We also ordered some pancakes and these are actually gluten-free. So we're excited about those. And then I also got this very green juice. This is just celery, cucumber, spinach, ginger and lemon. Good morning you guys, it is a new day. I am currently in the room, I'm about to head down to the beach. We went to the gym this morning, which was really nice. I've actually only been one other time since we've been here, so this has been my second time. We've actually been walking a lot, like every single day since we've been here. We've actually been looking at our steps because I feel like tired in my legs at the end of the day. And turns out that we've actually been walking around 10,000 steps per day, sometimes even a little bit more, and that's it's like a good kind of hour-long walk in the park where we live. It's also just been my time of the month, so I haven't had that much energy to work out. And again, with all the walking, it's been enough for me since being here. But um, this morning, I was really craving a good workout, so we went. It was really good. But when we arrived, I did do some Pilates and yoga and stuff here in the room. I just put a big towel down on the floor, and I did some Pilates and yoga like I would do at home. And this was just before. I got my period also the other day I was telling you guys about my morning routine and I didn't get to finish because we were actually in a bit of a rush for our meeting but I also wanted to say that I haven't really been meditating a lot since we got here because we have been sharing one room together and Mo and I have been waking up at the same time and we kind of do our mornings together and at home I obviously have like my space I wake up before Mo I close the door to the bedroom and I do my meditation my journaling my Pilates and my workouts and things like like that but since we've been here I haven't been doing it that often and I really feel it especially right now I actually just did a meditation right now before I started filming and Mo's down at the beach we are here and it's really beautiful and you know we are really enjoying it and relaxing also working a lot but you know we are in a nice place but I really feel it when I'm not sticking to my routine I feel it in my body now just doing like a little 15 minute meditation I feel so much better just in my body and my 
stomach and my gut it just really does make a big difference of course life happens and we have to be flexible and not too rigid with everything but it does feel really amazing when I start doing these good things for myself again anyway I am going to head down to the beach now I've got on my little beach dress and my black bikini I'm gonna put on my beach hat as well my sunglasses I've got my sunscreen on and um, yeah we'll head to the beach this is the view by the way from our room so nice and you guys hear all the birds I love it this is where I come out in the mornings and have my water and just chill here look at all the greenery I love it They just came with these frozen grapes. These are so, so good. I definitely want to do this at home. I know this is a thing to like freeze grapes, but for some reason we never did this, but this has inspired me to do it. because we have been just vlogging. to do a little pilates here in our room i like to just put down a towel they're not actually allowed to have yoga mats at the gym so i can't really do like my floor work there so i prefer to just do it here <laughs> in the room it works well i will probably open this up and just listen to the birds 
as I'm working out. So nice. dinner now this is my look of the evening this is actually the same dress that I was wearing uh, to the beach but I just put it with this little black belt and this cute little handbag it kind of dresses it up a little bit it's actually our last evening here we're going yes. home tomorrow I'm not um, excited about it so we are heading to our last dinner then it will be an early evening because we have to wake up super early tomorrow Crumble cake with some vanilla ice cream. Let's taste. Mm. Wow, that is so good. <laughs> so good. Alright guys, so we are all packed up and ready to head back home. We have had such an incredible time and I hope that this has felt like a little kind of getaway for you guys as well and hopefully you felt like you were here with us. A few of you guys were actually asking how it was to travel here and how it's been here. Restrictions and things like that. Everything here has been really clean. We felt really safe. The hotels of course have their precautions 
infections up so you have to wear face masks in the hotel and of course in restaurants when you're walking around but just the fact that restaurants have been open here and shops are open some of you guys might know if you followed my other vlogs that where we live in Germany it's been really really strict so restaurants and shops have actually been closed since end of November beginning December we are now April so that's like a good almost five months I think over five months so it's just been so refreshing to be here and experience life kind of more normally um, of course taking all of the safety precautions and everything like that and also regarding COVID tests some of you guys asked me about that so before coming here we had to show a negative PCR test that was not older I think than 48 hours before entering Dubai we also had to take one going back to Germany so they actually came yesterday and nurse came to our hotel room which was amazing they did a test on both Mo and I and the results came back negative we got them today and so we can fly tomorrow overall I feel like Dubai is a very clean place they sanitize everything so when you go and sit down for breakfast or lunch or dinner between every guest they sanitize the tables completely there are of course social distancing rules so none of the restaurants are full not even the hotel is full I think they're just allowed a 70% capacity and same thing with the gym as well so all of the gym equipment is sanitized after each person uses it we felt like that was really great as well in terms of like the breakfast this is something that I was so looking forward to is having like breakfast buffets that's something that i always love at hotels but as i showed you guys a few days ago they're not doing that right now so they have kind of like a modified version of it with those carts that they come around with um with yogurts there's one for like croissants and bread and like muffins and things like that and then everything else is a la carte so you order basically everything that you could get at a buffet we've still of course enjoyed it a lot but I wouldn't say it's like 100% normal, it's like 90%, which has still been, again, just very refreshing and nice, you know, because again, at home, I literally cook every single meal for both Mo and I, get all the groceries and all of that, so it's just been really nice to be like taken care of by someone else. Mo and I have really been able to connect a lot more. It's been nice like to wake up together and have our mornings together, and of course at home I usually wake up before Mo, but it's just been nice to kind of be a bit more in sync with one another, but I think there's of course like the positives to every situation so I am looking forward to going back home and having our space again our own bed and bathroom and of course you know our daily routines and getting back to like normal life so that's something that we are looking forward to but we really had such an amazing time here and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I'm actually gonna start editing this on the plane tomorrow so that I can get it up for you guys by Sunday evening. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.